Hey, me again. I am doing my second video in the same day. It's quite quite an achievement for me. Um, hold on a sec. I'm on like the double puck of teas at the moment. I've had a bit of a stressful week and I just feel like um, I need to look after myself today. But I've been out in the sun, which always really, really helps. And I've taken these supplements that I got in LA because, you know, America has a medicine for everything. They're just natural supplements. I've got like an adrenal support one with ashwagandha, rhodiola in it, B vitamins. Then I've got an anxiety one, which is for, again, like it's got GABA in it, L-theanine, which I've heard is really good, and Carver Carver. Hopefully they will like settle me down. And I'm drinking, what tea bags? I've done like a double dip with the, I've got the licorice and cinnamon puck of tea and the nighttime one, just because the nighttime one's got, what has it got in it that relaxes you? Valerian, which relaxes you. And the licorice and cinnamon one is just really nice on your stomach if you've been feeling stressed. Uh, I also put a bit of manuka honey in it because I feel like, I don't know why, there's something really comforting about drinking herbal tea with honey in it. Anyway, I'm gonna talk to you today about Decium and The Ordinary because I'm a really big fan of them and I know that some people get a bit confused by the products. I'm not gonna to talk too much. I've decided that I wanna keep my videos really short and snappy. So I'm just gonna say what the product is, why I like it and what it does. I've got a few new ordinary products here as well, which I've um, only just started using, but then I'm gonna start with my old favorites. And my first old favorite is niacinamide. It's for oily skin, it's like overproduction of oil. Um, it's anti-aging as well. I use about that, I would say about that much. Uh, if you use a beauty essence, put that on first, put this on afterwards. If you don't use an essence, put this on first. Uh, mattifying, tightening, skin clearing, refreshing, probably not for oily, uh, sorry, for dry skin types. Uh, really, really like that, five pounds. Second favorite one is, and there's three of them, but this is why it's my favorite one are the serum foundations. Why they're my favorite, not just because the product is amazing, but because they are so cheap that I can buy three different shades and basically have the perfect foundation all year round, depending on how tanned or pale or yellow I am. I have got shade 2.1Y, 2.0YG and 2.0P. So that's light medium in yellow gold and light medium with pink. Uh, that's for when I'm like pasty as fuck. And then I've got 2.1Y, which is medium with the yellow undertones. Just because I'm half Spanish, I have got that yellow base. And I, regardless of how tanned or pale I am, I have to you always use that just to get that yellow in there. Really, really good because very natural looking, very glowy, really good for oily skin. Doesn't budge, um, especially if you use it with the primer that they sell as well. Has got uh spf in it as well which is a big one spf 15 which is quite handy tips whilst sort of applying it is apply it really really quickly because it sinks in really quickly i dab bits all over my face with a brush and then i use my fingers and i find the warmth of my fingers helps blend it in big fan of them third favorite product i think is this the blood facial is what we like to call it again really really cheap about six pounds it's an aha 30% AHA and 2% BHA peeling solution. It's a 10 minute exfoliating peel mask. You put it on like a mask, Don't you've got to be careful around your eyes and take it off. I leave it on for longer than 10 minutes because my skin is like a leather handbag. Like it can literally take anything that you put on it. If you've got sensitive skin, broken skin, open wounds, don't put it on because it will sting. This is just a, like a, I like to call it like a baby peel. You don't get any of those side effects from like a really strong acid peel where your skin peels off or goes really dry. This is just really refining, um, pore minimizing, skin smoothing, brightening, kind of once a week jobby that you would do. I think my third favorite product is, and this is a new one, but I have been using the other vitamin C suspension that they've got, but it's the, and I love the lid that's like engraved. The Ordinary. 
Come on, it's not gonna focus, whatever. This is the vitamin C, 100% vitamin C powder. I'm not gonna open it because it'll go everywhere. It does come with a little plastic spoon, which I've lost because I'm fucking scatty and it's really annoying because I've had it for like two weeks and it measures out the perfect amount. I will find it though. This is interesting because it's three pounds 90, you get 20 grams of it. It's like a very fine powder and I mix it with other creams and serums, put it on at nighttime and it just helps with that brightening, glowy, um, skin clearing effect. You have to work your way up with uh, vitamin C, so you start with a lower percentage and then work your way up to like obviously 100%. I find that the results are exactly the same as the vitamin C suspension. I just think for sort of economic reasons, this is gonna go a lot further and you can obviously add more vitamin C powder to serum um, depending on how much you need. I started off with half a spoon, like the spoon that's provided, I did half a spoon of that and then mixed it with the serum and now I'm just doing a full spoon because it's, it's fine. It does tingle um, and sting a little bit so it takes some getting used to but your skin within a week I would say gets used to it. But vitamin C is definitely something that I just don't go without now. It just makes my skin look a lot brighter, a lot clearer, it brings up any underlying congestion, uh, sorts any sun damage out. The only thing is you have to be really careful and wear sun protection um, afterwards because your skin gets so sensitive. Another product that I really like, and I haven't opened it yet because I'm one of these like lame people that's like, oh, I'm gonna keep it, everything in the boxes, but I've got all the boxes here. I mean, this will stay for like a week and then I'll just be like, fuck the boxes and I'll chuck them all away. Um, but I haven't um, used my old primer, that's why I haven't opened this yet. So this is the High Adherent Silicone Primer. I really like it because it's quite blurring, smoothing, um, obviously works really well with the ordinary foundations, but I just like the fact that it feels very velvety and kind of makes your skin look a bit more photogenic. I find it works best if you apply it and then leave it to sink in for five minutes. I, I guess like with any moisturizer or primer to do that. Um, and then I put the foundation on top. This is the natural moisturizing factors. It also comes in a smaller size, like the same size as the primer, but this is like six pounds 80 and it's for a hundred, is it a hundred mils? Yeah, it's 100 mils, which is really good. I don't use a lot of moisturizer because I've got oily skin. This is oil-free. It's got loads of hyaluronic acid in it, which is really good for plumping up your skin. Hyaluronic acid is um, like an ingredient. It's actually, it's a molecule that's already found in your skin um, and it basically helps your skin cells like plump up. I like use anything with hyaluronic acid in it. It's also got some dermal lipids, which I can only interpret as like good fats for your skin. It's very light, it's got a really nice light whipped kind of texture, absorbs really quickly. If you've got oily skin, you'll know straight away if something's too rich for your skin, and this definitely isn't. So if you are somebody that has oily skin, but you wanna feel like you've got something on your skin, this is for you, really like it. And that will last me such a long time. But this is like an old favorite. Don't think you can get it anymore. It's the caffeine eye solution. When I first started using this, I was using way too much and it stung my eyes. And then I realized that you don't actually have to use that much. I literally do. One, two is enough. And you should always apply eye serums with your ring fingers going out like that because it helps drain any fluid. I don't actually need to put this on right now, I'm just showing you how to do it. <laughs> I like this because it does help with the dark circle. Obviously, if you're caning it, going out all the time, not getting enough sleep, smoking loads, being really naughty, you're gonna get dark circles. However, um, if you're being healthy and you still have the dark circles, this will help um, with them. And I find that because it's like a, almost like a gel kind of eye serum, it's very refreshing and tightening and kind of makes your eyes feel like perked up in the morning, so that's really nice. This is a new product that I've been using, but I've been trying to get hold of it for so long because it's always sold out. And it's the glycolic toning solution. So it's a toner, so it will remove any excess dirt or makeup after cleansing, but it's got glycolic acid in it, 7%, which again helps with that peeling, mild peeling effect, which will help your skin look brighter, clearer. If you've got oily skin, you kind of crave things with acid in it that's going to like just wipe all that oil away. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it's true. If you've got oily skin, you'll know what I mean. And obviously glycolic acid is that continuous exfoliating, which means that you're just going to have nice renewed skin all the time. It does sting a little bit. This is like six pounds again, or seven pounds, and it's 240 mils. I mean, you need a few drops on a cotton pad and that's it. So that will last a really, really long time. It's like a very, I don't know if you can see it, but very, very mild pale yellow color. Um, so I'm going to be using that a lot this summer. I have to be careful though because I'm using 
the 10 minute uh, peeling facial, I'm using niacinamide, I'm using vitamin C, I'm using glycolic toning solution. Sunscreen is like an absolute must at the moment. So be warned, I did warn you, you have to do that. Last of all, this got given to me because the person that used it was just her skin was too sensitive and it's a retinoid in squalene. I've used squalene before from the ordinary, really liked it. This has got the retinoid in it so I'm just uh, replacing it now and using that. What's great about this, you can mix this, which is a super anti-aging formula, with the vitamin C. Um, obviously this is powder so you need something to mix it in so why not mix it in with something that's anti-aging so what I do is oh I've never really noticed that it's green before oh no that's not enough hold on soz I would say about that much in the palm of my hand with a spoonful of the vitamin C powder and then a tiny little squidge of the natural moisturizing factors and then I really massage that in all over my face because you want the vitamin c to disperse properly and all over my neck and i don't think you can beat that for like an anti-aging overnight treatment and obviously the value for money is amazing because all of the products last so long squalene is really good if you've got oily skin but you're dehydrated my kind of general rule is to put as little as possible on my face during the day and as much as possible at night time to kind of like feed my skin squalene i really like because it's almost like a serum, like a watery, oily serum. So it's not super, super oily and your skin just absorbs it really quickly and it makes your skin look nice and plump in the morning. I've been using the retinol in squalene for a couple of weeks now and I have noticed a difference in the morning. My skin looks a lot fresher, especially with the vitamin C now mixed in. Yeah, it's a really good combination. And then last of all, it's not really a product, but something that I thought I didn't really need to use anymore, but now it's getting a bit warmer, I do. And they're from uh, Kiko. They're really grubby. They're what I call Rizzlers for your face. <laughs> they're really good for these bits where you get oily. Look at that, that is disgusting. They're obviously just like powdered bits of um, paper that help absorb any oil. So um, they're really useful for sort of at the end of the day when you've been wearing makeup and you're a bit shiny. Yeah, that was like my whistle stop tour through the ordinary products. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Any questions, DM me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, watch my videos, give me nice comments. And yeah, have a great Sunday. Thanks. Bye.